So of the three title fights last night, we had one belt change hands. That was to Alexander Volkanovsky. He defeated Max Holloway in what was an excellent fight, but in my opinion, a, a domination from Volkanovsky. Max Holloway is always game. Max Holloway, one thing you know about him, when he gets in the cage, he's coming forward, and he's not stopping until that bell rings on the final round. Period. End of story. And usually that is more than enough to get Max past anybody that he faces. He's the greatest 145er of all time. He's beaten the who's who in that division. He's, he's truly the goat of that division. So the fact that Volkanovsky was able to get in there, match Holloway's pace, and then even exceed it at certain points, throwing incredibly heavy shots, slipping, moving, was he had a great rhythm and cadence that was just very impressive to watch because usually when you watch Max, he wins his fight off of volume and cadence. You see him switching stances and staying long behind that jab. Volkanovsky was able to do the right things to get in there and disrupt that ca that cadence of Holloway. It was truly spectacular to watch. Uh, Eugene Bergman is doing some amazing things down in New Zealand. I think uh, they're on the map in a major way now with two champions. Big, big uh, congratulations to Volkanovsky. Uh, I, I don't know what he he does from here. I think he's got a long list of people that would like to take a crack at that title. I know there's talk about Dustin Poirier coming back down to 45. Um, that's interesting. You have, obviously, Zabit Margamed Sharipov. That would be an incredible fight. Volkanovsky, one thing we knew going into this fight was that he was going to be the bigger, stronger guy. And what does that mean? That usually means the bigger, stronger guy is going to gas out before the leaner guy. We saw that in the Joshua fight, how he made the adjustments to lose a little bit of that muscle, lose a little bit of that weight, and he was able to outlast Andy Ruiz and win a decision. So you kind of, that's the general rule of thumb, but Volkanovsky is obviously um, shattering stereotypes here. He is a big, strong guy, literally fighting 100 pounds lighter than he weighed just a couple of years ago, which is insane. And he's showing us that you can have that combo of strength and cardio, and that's a dangerous combo to have because he's going to pressure you, and he's not just going to pressure you with 50%, 60% shots. He's going to pressure you with power from start to finish. So just the fact that Max was able to get through all five rounds is pretty incredible. Um, I think Max will be back. Max Holloway, listen, he's 28 years old. The guy's already the greatest of all time. Imagine being the greatest of all time in whatever it is that you do before the age of 30. So Max is going to be fine. There's a lot of fun things for Max to do. Um, I don't think an immediate rematch is in order. I think, in my opinion, it was a pretty dominating performance. I'd like to see Max go up against a contender, You know, have sort of one more fight before he gets back in there and gets a crack at the title um, again. All in all, excellent fight. The one belt that changed hands last night went to Alexander Volkanovsky, the great. Congratulations. Well, well deserved.